welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ash, aka Axo Kindness, and you guys probably notice things sound a little bit different now. I just recently upgraded my microphone, so I'm still figuring things out, but thus far, very big fan. Honestly, I'm just excited to not have to make you guys listen to the keyboard clicks and the switch button presses in all these recordings, so that's gonna be fantastic. But there's something that we need to address before we get into this video. Are you guys freaking seeing this? What? If you watched or interacted at all with my, our most recent cardigan video, our shopping district speed build, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and this is the next time that I'm like live recording since we've hit 100 subscribers. So I was going to thank everyone for all the subscribers, but we're literally almost at 200 already. Who are you people? That's freaking insane. So if you are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, shameless plug, come join the Lottle Squad. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea what to say. Thank you guys so, so much for all the comments and interactions and things. I've been having so much fun talking to you guys, but I won't take up much more of your time. Thank you guys so much again. But moving on with today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of mood boarding for Cardigan. I am very, very excited to share all of this footage with you. I had a ton of fun recording that, and I hope that you guys enjoy following me along in the process as we plan out our island. I love, love, love how the mood board came out, so I hope you guys do too. But without further ado, let's throw it over to past Ashley to pick it up with the mood boarding. All right, but anyways, we're gonna actually work on putting together a mood board. Now I'm using Canva for this. Um, I use Canva passively for like college projects and things, and I've actually used it for a few thumbnails. So I'm pretty familiar with how this works. I just kind of found a mood board template that I liked. Um, we're not gonna have just pictures. I'm thinking we're going to have pictures, um, like real life pictures of kind of the vibe we want. I have a few builds saved to my Pinterest board that I'd like to put on here as well so I can reference back to them or like ideas for places I want on Cardigan. And then we're also going to go through and pick out some villagers that we want for this island because I kind of, I originally thought I wanted one of every villager on this island. I no longer think that's the case, but we'll get to that. We're going to start with, actually I'll leave all of these outlines here because maybe I'll use some of these, but we'll change the background and everything. And let's go to Pinterest. You feel like you guys are learning a lot about me uh, from my Pinterest board over here, but we're just gonna look up like cottage core. And I have some pins like saved um, to a few of my boards actually. We're gonna go to my profile real quick. Um, if anyone's interested in checking out some of my, uh, I have a lot of mood boards, <laughs> a lot of Animal Crossing related things. So I'll put this in the description if anyone wants to come check out. Let's see here. This is the one that I've been using for Cardigan so far. And there are, I know for sure there are a few pictures I'd like to pull off of here. But yeah, I'm all about like the sunset whimsically vibe. Maybe I'll actually find a few more of these off camera and then we'll come back to this here. So yeah, I will see you guys in just a sec once I kind of have the vibe figured out. <laughs> so yes, I've found a bunch of really cute pictures that I'm gonna kind of throw into these pre-existing. A lot of these templates have these blank spaces like the on these Polaroids where I can just slap these pictures in. That is exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay, so I've kind of collected a few images up here in this top left corner. This is like, if Cardigan were a real place that I could go to, this is where, like, what it would look like. This is the feeling that I get when I look at these pictures is what I want to get when I walk around my island. So that's sort of my thought process with these here. Now we go to the fun part. Now we're going to go back to my Pinterest board and we are going to go through all of the cottage core based builds that I have saved. For now, we're just going to open a bunch of these in some new tabs in the background and kind of look around. For now, let's check these out. So this area in particular, I would really like to have um, a little painting scene. And I think I have another one in here somewhere. Yeah, okay, so these two painting scenes, I like a whole bunch, but I think only one of them needs to be in the mood board. And I think I like this one the most. So I'm gonna download this and I'll throw it onto the mood board. All right, and then this one, is there a link to this anywhere? 
I don't believe so, but if you guys recognize any of these creators, let me know. This one here looks like it is from Amy Crossing. It took me a long time to figure that out, but Amy Crossing. And I do love these tide pools. I really want to do something like this on the island, but I don't know if it matches the vibe that our mood board is going for right now. So maybe I will leave this off just for now. A non-negotiable though, I'm doing a rock garden. I've never done a rock garden before. This looks so freaking cute. Tell me that doesn't look like the cutest little fairy circle. I love that. Okay. This is making the mood board. I want to do like an insula lighthouse build. I don't know if this one here, this one might be too white for what I'm going for, but I think for now we will go ahead and throw that on the mood board just because why not? Ooh, okay. And there's actually a couple cute things down here too. <gasps> Look at this beach campsite. We're getting distracted here a little bit. Oh my gosh, in the sun. Oh, okay, okay, this might be spoilers, but I do really, really want to do a sunflower shop. So this will look so cute. Okay, this, uh, first off, RIP Seaside, by the way. But this is going on our board and on our mood board as well. Oh, and this beach campsite is so freaking cute. Download, save to the board. Okay, and then our last one here, I want to do a little movie scene. I've never done an outdoor theater, but like, I love freaking love outdoor theaters um, in real life. So I think I want to do something li a little bit like this on our island. Oh, and this actually reminds me, I have some images on my iPad that I wanted to consider as well. So let me send these over to myself and I'll be right back. All right, so now I've put all of our builds that we've collected from Pinterest over here. I knew some of these I saw as I was putting them on here had credits in them. So this build right here, this cute little um, beach campsite laundry area is by QB Crossing. That was one, the only one that I saw. Again, all these are on the Pinterest board, so hopefully they can be tracked down to their original owners, but just know that none of these images are from me personally. Um, now, a couple more. This one, if this is not aesthetically pleasing at all, uh, the view of this, but this was actually in um, Froggy Crossing's video. She was doing build suggestion ideas, like build improvements, and she dropped a little coin by the wishing well. And that is the cutest freaking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> So it doesn't re quite fit the vibe as well as the rest of them. So we'll make it really small, but I absolutely want to do this on this island and I don't want myself to forget. Can I put like a filter on this or something? All right. Now see, that's that's a little bit better. That matches more of the color scheme here. And then this one I actually saw in a Animal Crossing Facebook group that I'm in. This is from ACNH with Sky. Guys, look at this freaking museum build. I know it's not the color scheme that we're going for, but like, this is beautiful. And I would love to take a lot of inspiration from this build and do like a big butterfly pond, like their museum here and just have it decorated differently. Um, I want to throw that idea out here. Again, this doesn't quite match our color scheme very well, but I do absolutely freaking love this. So I would like to put it on here if we can. Can I maybe make that a little bit more? Okay, there we go. And again, we're just gonna kind of shrink this down a little bit and throw it on the mood board down here somewhere. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do here is I kind of want to check out some villagers. All right, I've downloaded all of our villager photos here and now we've just got to start actually deciding how I'm going to lay all this out. I think I'm going to start by narrowing down some of these photos here because again, all these photos are on my mood board or like I have them somewhere. So I'm going to reference all of them most likely, but I think that yeah like this little well one i know that i want to do the two of these builds um okay so i think i'll narrow it down to these and now from here i kind of do want to start moving some of this around here And then I guess sort of alongside these, I'd like to match photos that kind of have the same look to them. So like you look very much like this, this theme up here. Maybe like the more brown ones will pull down to the bottom.
yeah, okay. Now we've got a couple of cute little photo collages over here in the sides. And now we can get to the actual important part of this. Now we're gonna pull in all of these villagers and we're going to sort them. I guess I'll put, hmm, should I sort them by vibe or should I sort them by ones that we want? I think that I will put maybe our dreamies in the middle. They're kind of front and center. Actually, I wanna put all of this in the center. There we go, okay. Now the dreamy villagers are gonna go up top. So Willow is certainly one of those. Blair. I think that Blair is going to fall into this category of if we find her, we will take her. But I don't know if she's going to be exactly on our dreamy list here. Henry, same thing. I think that if we, if we find him, oh, actually he fits very well. He fits very well with this vibe. So maybe we'll go up here on the dreamy list. Maybe I'm surprising myself. Marshall, obviously dreamy list. Shep. I am really drawn to Shep and I didn't think that I would be. Okay, Shep's gonna go up here as well. Bones. The more that I look at, he just looks like such a fall villager. I don't know if I think he'd match very well. So maybe we won't end up with the lazy villager because I don't want to put him on this list as a maybe and then we come across him because I just feel like I won't take him. So. Sorry, Bones. Now, what about Delhi? All right, let's compare Delhi and Weber because I know there are two lazies. So, Delhi and Weber, are you both lazy? I think you're both lazy. Hmm. Delhi is very cute. I think that he would match very well. <sighs> okay, we're, we're I think we're just gonna put them both in maybes. I think that that might be a decision that I would make if the time came to it. But for now, they are both cuties. So yeah, we're gonna stick them both down here. Mary, I'm kind of having a dilemma with because I love her. I absolutely adore her and I really want a cat for this island, but I just don't know. I think because I've always wanted her on an island, she is going to go up here, but we will see. Maybe we will come across her and we decide and we change our mind, but that's okay. Sparrow, I think he's also going to kind of go in this liminal space of like, if we find him, we will take him. Toby, obviously, going up here. Okay, Tad, I think Tad is going to, do we even really want Tad? I don't think Tad fits as well as I thought so. So sorry, Tad, not gonna happen. Maybe next time. Is there anyone that fits better for this mood board than Miss Coco herself? You guys are seeing these pictures in the background. Does anyone match better than Miss Coco? I don't think so. All right, and then Miss Daisy, I adore her. No questions, she's staying. Goldie. I would love to come across her if we can. Lily, I have had her on an island before. So I think that if we come across her, I would consider taking her, but I don't think I need to have her to feel happy on this island. Miss Maple, oh, she would just be absolutely adorable. I'm seeing her in like a cute little floral shirt. Maybe she's gonna go up here after all. Maybe I'm shocking myself. <laughs> Can't believe I've left Sylvana off this list for so far. Sylvana is absolutely up here. And then Melba, she's super duper cute. I do really like her, but I think for now she's gonna go in the maybes. Okay, do we like this list? How do we feel about this list? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, I've got just one too many up here. Let's start by, I'm gonna move the two of you that I already have on the island. Yeah, the four of you are over here. And of the remaining seven, guys, I think I'm gonna do it. I think that Mary is going to go in the maybe pile. We officially have our dreamy list being Miss Maple, whose amiibo I have. So she will be moving in probably later down the line once I need to kick someone out. Goldie, Silvana, Miss Willow, Henry, Shep, Coco, Daisy, Dobie, and Marshall. All right, and let's see. So between this, we have Smug, Normal. <laughs> Guys, I told you, Maple, Goldie, Silvana, Coco, and Daisy are all freaking normal villagers. But we do have a Snooty and a Jock and Cranky and Smug. So I think that this will be, this pro This looks like a final lineup I would really enjoy. Yeah. All right. So let me take a moment. I'm going to make this look a little bit cuter. I'll probably slap a picture of Cardigan in the background here and we will call this done. So just a moment.
right. So, <laughs> I made a few changes, as you guys just saw, and I decided that our permanent residence, or at least our dreamy residence, I was going to put their little um, faces beneath our island name here, Cardigan. And I think I want to plan out a few of these villagers' builds. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now, but I know that a couple of these I want to have specific things. Um, for example, where is Doby? There he is. He's behind Daisy. I know that for Doby, I want him to be um, like a biologist. He's going to have like a little research area. He'll have a bunch of like bugs and fish and things. I imagine mostly bugs, but like bugs and fish and such. Um, so I know I want him to have something themed. So I think some of these villagers I'll do big pictures. Or I'll do like... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. But I know some of them I'd like to have their own builds. So I'm just gonna leave space for me to do that. Some of these are going to go ahead and do... Um, Melba and Marshall, I think, would have a little cafe together. Um, Goldie, I would like to run our sunflower stand... I don't know what I want for Sylvana. Daisy, she already has like a little house build. She doesn't have a specific build that I'm doing. Um, neither does Shep or Henry because I don't have them yet. Okay, so I think as far as specific builds go, I want Coco to have like a little pottery shop, I think. I know, call me basic. And then these two I'd like to have like a little cafe or something, like a cafe and bakery kind of situation together. So I'm going to find a few pictures just for these villagers real quick to kind of put something with them and we'll call it done. This might be the prettiest thing I've ever made. <laughs> like, in no uncertain terms, this is gorgeous. I am very happy with how this came out. And honestly, like, I'm so happy that I finally got down these ideas. Like, I've been envisioning Doby as this little biologist ever since I got him. And I recorded that hunt, like, a week and a half ago. <laughs> so I'm so happy to have these ideas down here. And even to have, like, these extra possible villagers scattered around. I love this. <laughs> I hope this makes you guys just as excited to watch me build this island as it makes me to actually build and work on this island. Thank you, Past Ashley, for walking us through the mood boarding process. I freaking love the mood board. Again, it makes me very, very excited to work on the island. And I hope that you guys will stick around and watch our island progress. 
Anyways, before I let you go, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube jazz, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!